My mom had a Xerox machine, which was like an unheard of luxury because she had a business she ran out of our house. You know, everyone probably knows the, the saying, freedom of the press is guaranteed to those who own one. When you control the means of production, you run the world. And I had a Xerox machine. back to Hawaii every year. So my grandma lives here and she always comes to sit and drink here and watch me paint, which is the coolest thing. And my mom's always here too. It's like a whole female bloodline. So this year my mom made paella. It was just really cool to be able to bring the community together. It's a really powerful, well-rounded experience for me. This particular wall, me and Kara are like playing with our different styles, blending in and out. She does a lot of like surrealist portraiture that's black and white. I'm known for like my colorful work. I think people like to see the art when they're out and about walking because it kind of comes as a surprise that it kind of allows people to have inner dialogue as well as conversation with others. And it's been nice because I've noticed that neighbors have come together because of the art. <laughs> For me, why I dissect the faces and make them float is because they're just like the outer shell. I want people to like be able to shed the outer shell by expanding their mind. You know, inside is so much more important than all this. So in this particular piece, we are blending that colorful crystalline based work of mine coming out of her characters. It has a lot of different references and meanings. And I think it's going to be a fun one for people to come and try to decipher that and see how they relate to it. One of the craziest things that I think about powwow is you get to see these people that you normally see on a cell phone and you get to see them paint live and you see their techniques and the way they work a wall and how they sort of build their own look and feel. What's lost a lot on social media is you always see this mural and it looks kind of perfect, but you can't really tell how they struggle with stuff and how they build and build and build until they have the finished product. Public space is generally controlled by the government with signage and corporations, and that's it. And when you put something in public space that's not controlled by these more monolithic entities, it actually is really intriguing to people. And it causes people to question the control of public space in a really good way. So I was really looking forward to the lineup this year because it's a really loaded lineup. really good mix of all different types of artists with different techniques and what's really interesting is seeing a guy like Logan Hicks close up comparatively to like a Shepard Ferry and his crew and how he just like clock 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 against a wall and how Logan is like layering and layering a wall. My name's Logan Hicks. I'm a New York based stencil artist and decided to do this 25 by 12 foot interpretation of Givernay which is Monet's garden. This project was a collaborative mural between myself and Ola at Fitted. Escape to Paradise was one of our first t-shirt graphics. The idea of Escaping to Paradise, it evokes an emotional connection. Being in Hawaii, it's not just palm trees and pretty girls. Escaping to Paradise for us was a little bit different. My mother passed away, Ola's mother passed away. Our mothers come to us in our dreams and I always try to do a tribute to my mom someplace in the mural. Historically, in the Kiwalo Kaka'ako area, there was a natural water spring. These two kids, their father was a chief. They went wandering off one day and grew tired from dehydration. When they fell asleep, their mother who passed away came to them in the dream and told them to follow the rainbow mist to get hydration again, which was that spring. 
in our design process. We wanted to give it a rainbow mist effect to it. And it is broken down into eight stripes, which is our ode to Hawaii and the Hawaiian flag. Those eight bars on the flag is the eight islands. That's Hawaiian in its most distilled sense. Pow Wow is, is really interesting how like in the beginning you're you're all a bunch of strangers standing in the room by the end you know of, of the festival you have inside jokes and, and uh, you know stories that last beyond that. The greatest part about Pow Wow I think is how it brings all of these artists together internationally and locally. Even if you haven't seen someone for a couple powwows, the one powwow or the two powwow experiences you have really bring you closer together as artists and you really become a family. 